Hi, my loves. Jorae Milady, girl from around the way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a Jocelyn's Cabaret episode seven review. Now, um, I'm not gonna lie, I do miss that. I wanna ride, I wanna ride, I wanna ride, I wanna ride. But you know what? We're gonna hear, you know, we're gonna do the Domino. Now, before I hop into my commentary, make sure you are um, liking the video within the first 30 seconds. It lets the algorithm know, hey, we really like this girl, and it helps us continue to be in community with one another. And also, I just feel a little bit like, you know, when you go into somebody's house, your mom just tell you, make sure you say hello. It's your way of saying hello. So I appreciate you so much for getting that done. Now, let's just hop into it. So Jocelyn gives us, you know, her, her music video because that's one thing she going to do. She's going she gonna to push her pen and she's going to push her art. I'm not mad at either one. <laughs> OK, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm not mad at either one, sister. Now, um, after the video, we get the recap like we always do. Seuss is going to give us a recap. And so basically, Henny and Neek is in the middle of the whole um, situation with them on the sprinter on the way to practice. And so when she is pulling up, meaning Jocelyn Hernandez is pulling up, she, all she sees is Henny and Neek going at it. So Henny is waiting for her to come off of the bus and Neek comes out. And, you know, they get the swinging and tussling and moving and bustling. And I mean, like, honestly, Neek and Henny fight like yeah henny started it or i mean she engaged in the physical por portion of it but i feel like neek won that and y'all know i'd be like a little shaky with the fights but it feels to me like neek had won that i don't know y'all let me know if y'all feel differently um you know but after the fight everybody's all huffy and puffy and she keeps screaming you just tried to sneak me you tried to sneak me like girl how was she trying to sneak you you was on that bus carrying calling falling off the ceilings hanging like a monkey bar and you doing all of this and all of that and she told you you know well when we get off of this bus it's gonna be what it was you thought she was just playing i don't get the whole sneak thing you really tried to sneak me girl you was antagonizing her whole time and she gave you what you was looking for she said it was when she was when she got off the bus no did y'all see that or am i tripping you know so um henny is on the other side she's trying to rip, rip her wig she's trying to rip it and this and the third and jocelyn in the confessional talking about some no give me that wig give me that wig you know that's her big curly wig she the one she always wears she liked that wig and henny she didn't care she was steady trying to rip it couldn't even you know them when them wigs be thick like that girl it's hard to get to that lace okay that hair was protecting that lace and so Henny and Rose are outside, you know, trying to talk, you know, Jocelyn said, you need to calm down. We need to go in here. Y'all are embarrassing me. We're in front of the studios. You need to just chill out. And so Rose tries to say a little bit of something to Hennessy. And Henny wasn't here. And they're like, girl, not right now. I don't want to hear nothing that you're trying to say. She was like, she was saying something like, girl, it's $50,000 on the line or something she was trying to say. And sister was like, girl, not right now. Okay. Not right now. In another time, in another place, girl, not right now. And she kind of dismissed her. I ain't going to lie. And so the girls all rush her to the bathroom to kind of get her together. And, you know, they doing her hair and fixing her up and doing her makeup. And come on, girl. And you can study trying to calm down. Henny is still outside. She can't seem to get it together. I'm like, girl, that little fight, that little ying, 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 ying. Like, eh, you can't get it together over that, mama? So, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I just thought that was so interesting. They're all in there. I can't believe she snuck you. I can't believe she stuck you. Like, girl. I don't even feel like that was a sneak, y'all. I do not. Like, we seen the girls over on that TV. They really be getting snuck. That was not a sneak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. So the girls are getting ready to practice. And Jocelyn's like, hold on, wait, wait. Where's Tennessee? And she was like, oh, she can't come down to rehearse. Like, I don't like that because, girl, we are going to go on a worldwide tour on a cabaret. And you can't seem to calm down. We on a worldwide tour. What you about to do? Girl. So they get to practice in. And, um, you know, before they start practicing, Jocelyn is talking to the girls and she's like, you know, I'm here to support you girls. I'm here to do whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. If you want to do acting, I can help you. If you want to do music, I can help you. And so um, Asian Ocean apparently rolled her eyes. She was like, what's wrong with your face? And she was just like, no, nothing's wrong with my face. She was like, girl, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me any type of way because I was talking about her doing music. And, you know, now you're looking at me halfway crazy. Get, get this bitch away from me. She was like, oh, no, I'm just, I'm just, no, I'm just a little cold. She was like, girl, I'm not cold in here. She was like, oh, she said I was hot. Girl, I'm not hot. I'm cold. I got a coat on. And I don't know. I kind of side eye Jocelyn, too, from, you know, the comfort of my home. Like, talking about something, if you want, you want to help the girls do music, Jocelyn, you would never help them girls do music. I'm sorry, sister. I'm with you. You're right. But that, you ain't never doing that. 
Ocean just sitting there like, yes, ma'am. Okay. She's learning to just shut up because Jocelyn requires the girls to be yes men, henchmen, trolls, um, and lap dogs all in one. So Jocelyn and Isis, um, they kind of get into it as well during the practice. And, you know, she was talking to Neek too. Neek kept talking. She was like, I don't know why Neek is just saying too much or whatever. She was like, you, you need to, you need to be quiet. You need to be quiet <laughs> or whatever. So, um, cause C Ricardo had asked like, well, who do you think has it? Like, who do you think is one of the girls who has it for the choreography? And she was, um, Ricardo was like a uh, Neek if she stopped playing. So Neek is like, how am I playing? Oh my gosh. How am I playing? She was like, see, that's your problem. You don't know when to shut up or whatever. Don't say anything else. And so, um, Jocelyn has said to Isis, like, well, what's wrong with you? I feel like you've been in the back today. I don't know what's going on. Where's your energy? Where, you know, where are you at with this? And so Isis is like, I don't know. I just feel like you've been kind of like picking on me or whatever. She's like, picking on you, girl. Are you a kid? Are you a booger? What do you mean? Why would you say I'm picking on you? I might, I'm not babying you. I just fired my assistant because he was a bitch. Like she was just going off and Isis was like, no, I'm, that was just the word I chose. You're just, you know, singling me out or whatever. Jocelyn does that to all the girls. Okay, this is like her form of hazing. Um, I know like a couple years ago, we was all mad about how she was treating the girls. I really feel like jo this is Jocelyn's form of hazing these women. Honestly, like it's no different than Giselle over there talking about people's husbands and doing all the stuff that she'd be over there doing. It's a form of hazing to see how bad do you really want to be in this circle? How bad do you really want to be over here? Um, now, everybody does it on reality TV. She just does it in a different way. Anyway, um, so, you know, the girls talk to Rose. Well, they she she calls everybody in for a group hug. And she was like, oh, I didn't even think that you would give me a group hug because she had said something to uh, Danny. She's like, girl, make sure you sneeze. Sneeze in your shirt. I don't like all of that. I don't want no sneezing. I, I feel her. On that. I'm, I'm like that too, girl. Don't come around me sneezing, coughing, and hacking. Do not. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be uncomfortable for me and uncomfortable for you. Okay. So she pulls everybody in and they do a little group hug, a Jocelyn's Cabaret's hug. So the girls want to talk to Rose about what's going on with Hennessy. And, you know, they're all talking and, you know, blah, 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 chopping it up. And, you know, Rose basically is just like, honestly, I don't know where we stand at. I just don't understand where we are with things because, you know, it's really kind of difficult. Like we share a room. So it's hard for me to kind of keep my distance. And so Ocean was like, girl, well, you can come in my room. And she was like, oh, well, I didn't know it was going to be just as easy as that. And it seems like the other girls are really, um, embracing um miss rose you know i feel like they have really embraced her and you know rose is having a hard time navigating the friendship that she has with a home girl and then also being in the cabaret space i think i'm also starting to see like they see something else that we can't see you know obviously behind the cameras and you know it's just interesting so you know Rose is basically like, that's my homegirl. We came in together, but right now I don't know where she's standing. She kind of moving a little different and you know, I'm just trying to win. You know, I'm trying to get to this money and I'm trying to win. So, um, Jocelyn is outside and she's talking to Hennessy. Um, and she's like, girl, why didn't, oh, those, Jocelyn looks so good right here. Oh, MG. Whew. That is so cute. The shoes, the fit, the hair. I love when she wore her hair like that. She just reminded me of Selena's Enos Dinos. You hear what I'm saying? And so Jocelyn is outside talking to Hennessy. And she's like, girl, you didn't even come into rehearsal. You got to be able to calm down. You, you were supposed to dance. Basically, she gave her a little slap on the wrist. And she comes back in. And, you know, I just feel like. That was that. The girls go inside and she kind of gives them an announcement. She gives Lexi a shout out. She says, Lexi, you did good on the choreography. And Lexi starts crying. She's like, why are you crying? Oh, my God. And she was like, girl, you're going to make me cry. And she was like, no, because I really be watching you girls. And I'm not just saying this. Like, you did a really good job. Lexi was like, I'm just so happy that you acknowledge me. Like, that's cool. Um, they said again that Ching said quit. You know, I'm like, damn, didn't they say that in the last episode? But whatever. Um, she also announces that Kay can't come back because of all of the extensive damages Erica had done to her face. Surprise, surprise. Erica signs off. She's like, you know, this has been a great experience. And, you know, Jocelyn's Cabaret season five. I'm out. Whatever season you want, girl. 
Um, and so Jocelyn announces that she wants to see the sexy. She wants to see the girls get sexy. So come in your cowgirl is higher. And, you know, we're going to see maybe we can give another cash prize. We're going to see um, or, or they can win a chance to be in her music video. And so Raven says, well, just get sexy. I mean, like that's that's easy for us to do. I feel like there's going to be a catch. And she's like, oh, you know what? Since since you feel like that, you go first. I feel like Raven, she always put her foot in her mouth. She just never knows when to do it like Oh my God. I thought that was so funny. I really bust out laughing like, girl, since it's so easy, then you do it. Then you can go first. Like, I love that. So they're on the bus and they're having a good time. They're all in their cowboy gear, cowgirl gear. And, you know, we get a little slow-mo, um, you know, sexy dexy doing a little booty, um, da -da -da, you know, how to give it up. So Raven was like, oh my gosh, I put my foot in my mouth. You know, I'm not really that comfortable with my body, but I'm here. I'm just going to give it my best shot. Everybody in the confessional shading her, her big giddies. Like, oh my gosh, Raven and these big giddies. We're just going to have to see what she has to give. Oh my gosh, two big giddies. Like they just going off about her giddies. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm just popping in to make sure you liking this video, girl. It is so like me to have a side conversation within a conversation, is it not? Anyway, y'all, make sure you all are subscribing to the channel because you're already here. That lets me know that you are my type of person. That lets me know that we go together right now. Basically, I mean, does it not mean that? Anyway, y'all, I hope that you are enjoying the video. Let's hop back into it. Bye. So the girls all meet with Jocelyn and Ballistic and she's like, hey, guys, have you been formally introduced? It was like, oh, not really. You know, I want you to dance in front of my husband because he does everything with me. And so that adds another extra layer to the girls and, you know, just their comfortability, I guess. Like it's one thing to try to get sexy in front of Jocelyn, the boss lady, but then there's something completely different when, um, you know, doing it in front of her man. Okay, so the girls, you know, give us a little opportunity to see who they are. And I'm like, this is what I love about Jocelyn's Cabaret. We get to see these individual girls with their talents to see who really has that sex appeal. I mean, yeah, the baddies are cute. They can get drunk and shove Casamigos down these girls' throat. But can they seduce? Okay, do they have the art of seduction? Do they give siren energy? You feel what I'm saying? What does it really give? You know what I mean? And so we start getting into it. Um, the first person who they called was Erica. Look, I mean, look how nervous this girl is looking. Okay. Look at what she looks like. Jeez Louise is like, girl, mama lighten up a little bit. Um, so Erica, she does her dance and it's a no for me. I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's going to be a no for me. Um, mm, no, no particular reason. It just doesn't seem for real. And it doesn't, she's not, you know, I, I just didn't, I didn't get nothing from her, but Jocelyn is all about her. She's like, oh my gosh, she had a pretty pink and she had a small opening in her, in her poochie. And I just wanted to put my, like, she was going in like Erica, she must have a, a pretty one. And, you know, Miss Jocelyn, it don't take her much to get a little bit of excited, you know, excited. Dre leaves and she comes back with a coyote outfit. Um, which is like, you know, a little bit different, but <sighs> anyway, so let me just keep it moving. So the next person we have is, oh, I didn't even go in order. Or maybe I did. The next person we have is Des. Okay. Des goes and again, it's a no for me. Um, everybody, all the girls are saying the hat, take that off, take that off, take that off. But you know, ballistic, he was really here for her. He was like really, really, really like into Des. She just seems like his type. He was the only girl that I seen. He actually put a little hand clap on and, um, you know, they, you know, do a little innuendos and her and Erica playing on if you can tonight. Cause Jocelyn was really into it too, which makes sense. You know, the Latina, um, situation, Latina persuasion, whatever you want to call it. Um, then we have but it was, I, I still didn't, she didn't have major sex appeal for me. Am I tripping y'all? I don't know. Let's get through them all. We'll discuss. Then we have Isis. Isis came. She was very um, choreographed. She was very much dancer-like. Um, you know, I thought every, Jocelyn thought she danced cool. Um, no real major, whatever. Um, then we have Ocean. Um, Ocean, again, I was not impressed with her either. I'm so sorry. I mean, you know, Jocelyn said, you know, you still have to work on your choreography. You know, you you dance like you have two left feet. Um, yeah, it's a no for me, dog. Um, and then we have Henny. 
Um, I just knew she was going to be sexy. I knew that Hennessy was going to be able to come with what the guys want, what a girl wants, what a girl needs. I knew she was going to be able to come and deliver just from her attitude. Her face is beautiful. And she has that kind of subtle confidence, but she don't even got to do too much. You know, she can stick her little ooh, ah, ah, and it's still going to pop. But I feel like her, her out of all of the women, she definitely had, um, a nice natural sex appeal about her. She seemed comfortable in her body. And I feel like she ate the other girls up. No, no shade, no lie. Like I feel like Tennessee was the only girl that I was like, huh? Like she has a little something about her. Like I would be curious to see what a real show, what a real performance looks like for her. And I'm not just saying like, oh, performance as in like, oh yeah, girl, get up there and you know, shake it to for the like I'm talking like eye connection, I um Eye contact, chemistry, you know what I mean? Sensuality. She seems like she has a she has that, but also too a little, you know, hood rat, pop it up, baka, baka, like, you know what I mean? She looked like she can give it up. Um, and she was good. Jocelyn thought that she was really good. Drea came, she can't, they said she gave corn star, which you know, Drea is a beautiful girl. Say what you want, Drea is beautiful. To me, she has that little small petite body. She's like knowing how to use it, knowing how to work it. Jocelyn just critiques her. It's like, girl, you're a grown woman with a baby and a husband. I don't know why you act like that. Um, Neek comes out. Neek is beautiful. Neek is beautiful. Did not even know how pretty she was. Wow, wow, wow. She's very flexible too. I was really kind of impressed with her. Um, who else? Lexi. Jocelyn was impressed. She's like, are you shy? And she's like, yeah, I am kind of shy. Um, Lexi is a no for me. Um, she's a no for me too. <laughs> um, Russian. Russian comes out. I don't even remember what she looked like. Um, I don't even remember what she did. But, you know, th- she does reveal that she has three children. And, you know, she was like, she's she. it was difficult for her because she's never, you know, it, did any exotic dancing before. But she did her big one. She was like, you know, Jocelyn gave her her ones. Like, girl, I just do not believe that you are a mother of three. Like, you, your body is immaculate. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So um, who else went? Raven, she was sexy. She ate it up. She really did. She was sexy. She ate it up. Rose came. Rose did really, really well, too. She used Ocean as a prompt. Um, Chicago, she was the type of girl to put the poochie on the fire. I don't like when the girls be doing that and shoving Corona bottles and doing a whole bunch of stuff and certain shit. Like, I don't I don't see the thrill in this. Also, I'm not a man. Maybe that is like, you know, a male gaze. But I do think that, you know, in order to be a real exotic dancer or entertainer, you have to seduce both genders. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see you fucking smash no Corona bottle up your poochie. I don't. I'm not interested in that. But, you know, there's an audience for everybody. OK, Um Danny goes and Jocelyn's like, Danny, I just feel like, you know, you're one of the prettiest girls out here. You know, you're the prettiest girls. You know, you elevated the look. Blah, 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 and I just love you so much. This and the third and, you know, ballistic. He was like, Danny, you know, you're my people. You know, you're cool. Blah, blah, blah. Danny, I don't see it for her either. OK, and that's just how it ended. We're going to see some real drama happen. I don't even know. I can't even remember at this point what's going to happen in the next week's episode. But it looks like it's going to be a juicy one. They're going to be in the house and it's looking and it's feeling like a, a, a brawl. It's looking like a free for all. Like everybody just starts walling. OK, and that is my episode review. Now, let's get into the final thoughts. Um, Hennessy, how are we feeling about Miss Hennessy? Like, I know how we feel about her braids, but it's a protective style and she's letting her hair breathe. Okay. Sometimes you got to let that new growth sit and let it simmer and fester. So when you have that breakdown, you that takedown and you see how much hair, oh my God, maybe she's waiting on that. Okay. Who knows? I don't know. Y'all chewing her up about these braids. Um, but more importantly, I think her attitude, her attitude, um, towards Rosé, it's really interesting. I thought before, like maybe they had a tighter connection and, and we was just drawing, but I feel like they are starting to see something different. And the fact that she tried to pull her to the side real quick, like, girl, get you together. And she didn't even want to like have her friend around her. I don't know. She kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, but I want to know if it's, if I'm the only one. Are y'all feeling that too? I don't know. Maybe y'all like, no, she's sitting on her 10. Because sometimes y'all be, you know, y'all be feeling differently. I like that. That's cool too. Um, Raven, Raven's really eating them up. I did not expect dinosaur arms Raven to come through and sweep. Once she given looks, look at how beautiful she looks. She looks amazing. Look at the dress. Look at the class. Okay. Look at the pixie. All right. 
she she's she's doing what she what she needs to do. All right. And on top of that, she's still very, very sexy. I mean, Raven was always sexy. I feel like her and Diamond did their own little thing, but Raven was the one who was kind of like the premier girl. And out of all of them, I feel like she is up there as one of the girls who are who is the most elevated. I think she's the most elevated. And I didn't like her last season. I just did not. This is how you do reality. You come in one way, you elevate, you come back. I, I'm appreciating Raven right now. Let me know if you guys are feeling the same. Um, and finally, like who had the most sex appeal? You know, I, I think that one of the reasons why Jocelyn's Cabaret show is the hit that it is, um, mainly because we get to see the girls. We get to see the natural, you know, um, je ne sais quoi. We get to see the sex appeal. We get to see them seduce and entertain and um, do things that, you know, the average girl can't do. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a girl right now sitting around whoever, sitting on some good but she don't even know how to how to uh you know entertain and seduce a man. I think that there is something very interesting about women who are in this industry and they do it at a very high level. Um, and so I always expect the girls to come in and give that. And unfortunately, I'm not feeling any of these girls. The sex appeal portion of the show, which is really what kind of like is like the for me anyway, it's like, all right, who's who around this motherfucker? And I was really underwhelmed. I don't know about y'all, but I was really underwhelmed. Um, the only person who I can say really kind of was like, huh, was Hennessy, but I knew she was gonna have a little something about her. Neat, she you know, she looks good. And even like Andrea and I'm like, I'm like, whatever. Andrea's good on the pole. I don't think she's good at seducing. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I but I'm just thinking back to um Jocelyn's cabaret season two like or was it three I don't even remember girl the one we, we had Egypt Egypt was fine uh, Egypt was fine as hell okay y'all not about to tell me otherwise Egypt was so fine we wanted to see her move we wanted to see her dance and she could fight we had Miss Natural say what you want about her but she not only did she have sex appeal right she was also a really really good dancer she was a great dancer. Lexi Blow, she was beautiful. She was something look like, I don't want to say she was the best dancer, but she had a natural sex appeal. These are the girls who kind of come in and gives us something to look forward to. Like, I want to see how she acts in, in person for real. Maybe I really will go to a cabaret show when they come down and rent the FOP lounge in, in your nearest location. You know, maybe you want to go down to the, you know, <laughs> nearest hookah lounge, wherever they're going to have this cabaret. But honestly, I was really underwhelmed about the amount of people who really had something to offer. We had Yummy, who was really good on the pole. You know what I mean? We had that other white girl who was who was really, really good at pole tricks, too. Like we were actually seeing something. These girls are kind of boring. And I know that they only had the floor. And another thing that I noticed, too, none of the girls talked or touched Jocelyn. None of the girls talked or touched Ballistic. We had the girls engaging um, uh, Jocelyn into their little situation. We didn't see any of that this go round. And it's starting to give to me like they are getting heavy into just producing and casting based off of who's going to give it up, you know, who's going to fight, who's going to make a storyline. But we also need to get the girls who can still dance and entertain in this way. This is what sets this is what sets Jocelyn's Cabaret apart from baddies. These girls come in, they're sexy, they seduce, they're strippers, some of them are hoes, and da da da. But we're going to have two, three, or four of them who really have the sex appeal, the talent, the athleticism, and that thing. None of them gave that to me. I'm super critical too. <laughs> so let me know who, who your favorite was. My favorite was just off the top. I'm going to just say Hennessy. Um, and maybe Raven. And she kind of was corny a little bit. I feel like she could have done more. But let me know what you think. You know, drop down in the comments and let me know, girl. Um, I'll be around watching and lurking in the comments. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video.